With the upcoming municipal election, the DailyPlanet.com took to the streets to find out how Toronto voters were thinking. The economy. The economy is the, is the greatest issue in upcoming election, I would say. A lot of people are unemployed right now, and it's increasing. Uh, Rob Ford and George Smithman have pretty good transit plans, but I'm kind of worried about how they're actually going to pay for it. I don't have any faith in Transit City with Joe Pantaloni. Well, I would say the most important thing to me is probably the TTC. It's something that everyone takes, something that I take. Um, I don't have a car full time. It's something that I share, and it's something that's a big deal because uh, not only just uh, the city, but the government of Canada, they don't really care. I feel like the public transport is what really pulls the city together. And if you look at cities that really work, Paris, London, New York, a lot of their cohesiveness has to do with an efficient public transport system. So that's, I guess, my first issue. I'm still split 50-50 on the two front runners. I'm waiting for someone to have a meltdown, to be honest with you, or figure out how they're actually going to pay for everything. It's not something that I feel is, it's sad, but my I don't feel my vote's going to make a difference. Toronto has, um, you know, in Canada, one of the lowest turnouts in voter polling. It's, it's, not, it's not great because people know that, yeah, they're going to vote some schmuck in and he's not going to do anything. No, I'm not at all happy. I can't believe that these are the people that are running for mayor in a city of this caliber. And, you know, I've talked to people in other countries who are watching this with interest and are shocked at some of the things they've heard and seen. And that just, it's, it's, it's you know, it's Toronto. you got a little bit of everything and it's not always good.